Yes, and yes. Yeah, yeah. That was wrong with me. That was wrong with you. <laughs> wrong with you. Jesus Christ. You guys are fucking crazy. Alright. I get your game. I get your game. You're pushing me. Don't make me come up there. Oh. <laughs> come on. Come on. Come on. Last time somebody tackled somebody else. Give him a hug up here. Yeah. Give him a big, him big bug. Big bug. Big Give him a big bug. What do you got there? What do you got there? You show me first. So we got. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a little bit. Come on. So uh, I want you all to give it up for TM Gallo once more. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I've been very distracted. I, I've. Uh, I have a big photo shoot tonight. That was part of it right there. <laughs> this is a, it's it's a, it's a shoot for uh, for Poetry Magazine. Used to be a little uh, publication out of Chicago. They didn't used to have a whole lot of like big fancy covers, slick covers with you know <coughs> guys like me on. <laughs> but they will this year. Um, well, you know, this is the other thing about this uh, tonight that I find uh, unique is that uh, I really get the feeling that we're like in a, uh, a sweaty salon, uh, like on uh, somewhere in, in Europe. And I, I don't say that because, you know, just because, but I say that because, because, you know, we're a lot of people in here working, sweating, making heat with each other. <laughs> this is good. It's sexy. It's nice. It's comfortable. Kind of reminds me of our next poet, to tell you the truth. Uh, what I've heard of Dave Smith, what I've heard of him, is that uh, he likes to drink. He does. He does. I like to drink. <laughs> Got a lot in common. Yeah. Port, yeah, that's right. You do like the port. Did you have a, 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 one of the uh, Manhattans? No, this is just nice. No, no, when you were down at the other place in Columbus. Yeah, those are those are something else, man. Those, those are special. Yeah. The Delphonics. That's a that's a, a doo wop group, isn't it? Okay. R and B, R and B doo wop. They're very different. <laughs> but our, our next poet, uh, now like I said, you know, Steve usually goes out and finds people, but this guy he couldn't have found because Steve's just not that hip. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> That's, that's what I'm talking about, dude. No. That's, that's what I'm talking about. Steve. I'm wearing a Stephen B. Smith shirt. <laughs> and speaking of the Smiths. A long line of fine Smiths at the literary case. So, um, yeah, Steve and I were uh, actually, we were we were in Kansas City a couple weekends ago. Oh, we were? Did yeah. you drive? Strange. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. well, we got a lot of um, <laughs> It's getting a little hot in here. I'm not wearing underwear. So we were uh, we were out in uh, we were yeah we were out. There. Listen to this, man. You guys are fucking vicious. <laughs> Jesus. Like usually it's Ray McNeese that's yelling at me. Now it's Jeff. Hey, it's fucking you know? crazy, man. Listen. Come on, hurry up! Why are you get the fucking hurry? Get the goddamn pickle. Right. So uh, Steve and I were uh, we were out drinking um, in, uh, yeah. out by the Lincoln Park here. And he was telling me that uh, about this experience that he had out in Kansas City, and he said that uh, he said that it was the most uncomfortable fucking experience he ever had. But in that, he gained the greatest wisdom. This uh, this wisdom, this wisdom of living life in discomfort. This wisdom of being being on when you have to be on, not because you gotta be on, but because you have to be on and you wanna be on. And being 
man ain't always what it is. Unless you're turned on. Because, exactly, because sometimes you look across the room and it's sweaty and it's in Kansas City and there's a potential or maybe a imminent flood happening. It's a kaboom! And all of a sudden you look across the room and you see a, a tall woman and you love her. But you realize that you had to sleep in a fucking pickup truck the night before. And you like, yeah, with Casey Rare. You, you had to drive across halfway across the fucking country with Casey Rare in the sweat of June. And you had to miss Nick Trigner's birthday party. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. But that's not important. What's important is, is that while Steve and I were talking about this, he mentioned Dave Smith. And he said, he's like, well, first thing he says, he's like, I got all these people that, oh my God, but this guy, and that's about all he said. So what I'm going to tell you is that I don't know if Dave Smith, you're, are you from Kansas City? No. You're from Ohio? No. Where are you from? Chicago? No. You from Texas? You from Nebraska? Oh, fuck that. I bring him in everywhere. So you write a lot about uh, you write a lot about uh, what? True stuff. Animals. Animals and sand and, 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 and weird trees that that look like they're uh, look like what's the what's the opposite of deciduous? Look like they're conifers, but they're not really conifers. Right. Right. Um, California is no place for a poet. Except for this poet. And I want you, right now, because man, I fucking heard some shit about this guy, and even though I haven't read a goddamn thing he said, or fucking heard a goddamn thing he's written, I have... Fucking heard so much about him from Steve and from a lot of other people. I have a lot of other people. You're gonna love this shit. You're gonna love it, and you're gonna love it, and you're gonna sit down, and you're gonna write. No, you're gonna listen, and then you're gonna write because you're gonna be so pissed off at how good his shit is. You're gonna want your shit to be better. And then yes. you're gonna write something and it's gonna be better and then you're gonna come up here and you're gonna read it on the open mic. <laughs> <laughs> Give it up. Give it up. I want you, yes, I want you to give it up. Give it up. Give it up. I want you to give it up. I want